Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. black gods are? They black devils. Deuteronomy 32. I'm going to show you that. Bring it out! Show you understand me? me? Show me. Remember, God said thou shalt have no other gods before me. Just because an idol god is black, no you worship it. Just like you don't worship a white idol. You don't worship a, a black idol either. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 17. Bring it out! So what's, what's the names of those uh, black gods you said? I, I didn't... Oshun. How many are there? Is it more than one? Osh Oshun? And where does Oshu, where is he derived from? Where is he from? It's a woman. Uh -huh. In Ghana? It was okay. never Christianity. Understood? Okay. okay. So understand. So, we supposed to worship voodoo? We not, no, I didn't say voodoo. I said no, I said voodoo. No, I didn't say that. What you say? I said that we came from voodooism uh -huh. in Africa. We came from Christianity. So if you put your Christianity on the black power, you This is what I want you to understand. You wrong. We're not preaching Christianity. Christianity. I want you to understand, sisters. Listen, listen. This ain't the, Don't get it confused. Just because we read it from the Bible, don't mean we preaching Christianity. You understand me? I told you again. Moses, a black man, he wrote Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Solomon, a black man. Give me that. Song of Solomon chapter 1 verse 5. So who wrote the Bible? Who wrote the Bible? You coming up here with preconceived notions. You coming up here, you thinking that we Christians. We are not Christians. That's right. You understand me? But that's what I'm saying. You can't come here assuming. But this is what I'm saying. But now, this, this is what I'm saying. You coming up here assuming that we teach us something that we're not teaching. Absolutely. Read that. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Bring it out! Verse 1, the Song of Songs, which is Solomon. King Solomon wrote the Song of Songs. Verse 5. Verse 5. I am black. Did she say he was white? I am black. Say what? I am black. 
King Solomon is black. That's right. King Solomon was black. No, 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 no. White people, listen, listen. White people didn't use the Bible to enslave us. White people used our ignorance of the Bible to enslave us. That's right. White people didn't use the Bible to enslave us. White people used the ignorance of the Bible to enslave us. White people used the ignorance. Our ignorance of the Bible to enslave us. I'm going to say it again. White people did not use the Bible to enslave us. They murdered us with swords. They fought us on a slave ship. Then they used our ignorance of the Bible. That's right. They used our ignorance of the Bible. They told us what it said. No, they did not. They reintroduced it to us. They reintroduced it to us. They reintroduced it to us. That was us. Read. So what you're doing is you're missing history. I'm not missing you jump shit. In, you jumping from uh, Africa to now you're missing up history. I'm not missing shit. So this is what I want to understand. The white man did not write the Bible. That's first and foremost. And I'm going to prove that. Song of Solomon chapter 1 verse 5. And if the white man did write the Bible, why does it talk about his downfall? Why is it talking about the white man's downfall if he wrote it? Read. Song of, the Song of Songs. Which is Solomon. Verse 5. I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. And so King Solomon said he's black. He's black. He's black. Job 30 and 30. Bring it out. No matter how many times you say it, don't make it true. Read. No matter how many times you on that white, that shit ain't true. The book you have misplaced anger. And you come up here with preconceived notions. Your anger is misplaced. What you are saying is not true. Read what you got. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Job's skin was what? My skin is black upon me. I thought you said it's a white person, but King Solomon was black. Job was black. You understand me? King Solomon was black. Job was black. Let's get the color of Christ. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. The book. The difference between us, we actually sit down and study. We read. You understand me? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has the woolly hair on the earth? Only Negroes do. This is the depiction of Jesus Christ. Right. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Meaning the hair on his head and the hair on his chin was white and woolly. So you say he's the white man? I didn't say that. You didn't say that Christ was the white man five minutes ago? I did not. I said they teach us that. Okay. Jesus white. Wait, wait, wait. You can, now you contradict yourself. No, you said that this is a white man no, book, but you know I that. Said white man wrote that shit. Oh, white man wrote what? It ain't, it ain't this. I don't know what you, you probably point, you point past, hold on. Let's get it. You probably point past us. The white man ain't write this. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. The white man probably wrote something that you pointed at in the car somewhere. So maybe somebody in one of them apartments on the other block. He ain't write this right here. The white man did not write the Bible. That's right. That's first and foremost. Okay. Everybody in the Bible is black. That's the right. The Bible is for a black race of people called I the Israelites. Know that. Read. I know that. I know that. Yeah, you're saying you know that, but you're saying white people wrote it. Which one is it? Did white people write the book or did they not write the book? I don't know. I want to find out. Answer the question, sister. Come on. My answer is that no. So, no, white people did not write it. No, they interpreted it. So, now they interpreted it. You know me and you saying the same thing, right? Exactly. They used our ignorance of the Bible and interpreted it to us. Like, for example, give me Colossians chapter 3 about slaves obey your master. Colossians 3, uh, yeah, I agree with you. They did interpret it. But because they say that, you read the Bible, I'm the master, you the slave, that don't mean it's right. How the hell this big book, thank you, sis, thank you. So that's what I'm saying, you gotta, sometimes you gotta calm down and just listen. You understand me? I know. I'm angry that too. But wise people are supposed to be angry. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 22. This is what the white man did. Servants, obey in all things your master according to the flesh. Now, does that mean that he the master, we the niggas, we the slaves? Bring it out. Obviously not. But because at that time period, for 250 years, you have to understand history, the black codes, Jim Crow laws. We was not able to read. So he manipulated and interpreted the Bible to be wrong. Right. You understand me? That's why Christ said, let no man deceive you. We was deceived during slavery. You understand me? Remember, the master fed us, the master clothed us, the master housed us. 
So we opened up the book and he read us, we believed him at that time. Years later, we are not enslaved the way we was back then. So now we understand clearly that this scripture right here, read it again. Colossians 3 verse 22. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. That don't mean that we are the servants and he is the master. That's talking about the laws in the Old Testament. Give me Leviticus chapter 25 verse 41. 39, 39, 39. Verse 39. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxing poor and be sold unto thee. It says, and if thy brother that dwell by thee be waxed poor and be sold unto thee. For example, Zephaniah, let's say Zephaniah, he follow hard times. I got money. Zephaniah want to work for me. According to the law of the Bible, Zephaniah can only work for me for seven years. After seven years, and during those seven years, I have to pay him every time he works. You understand? It's called an employee. Right. That scripture in Colossians was talking about employees and the employer. That don't mean the white man was the slave master and we the slaves. He took that and ran with that. Based on our ignorance of that. You understand me? We cannot read. No, we ain't done in Leviticus. Read on. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 39. If thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxing poor and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. See that the law was we cannot force our brothers of one another nation to serve like a slave. That's not supposed to do that. If you follow hard times, employ your brother. That happens all the time, even to these days, in these last days. Guess what? Some of y'all got cars that the monthly note you can't take care of. Don't you have a family member step in and say, hey, listen, baby, I'm gonna go ahead and pay this car off for you. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna help you out. We still help one another out. That's nothing different. We just had laws on that. You understand me? We still Colossians chapter three, verse 22. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. In today's layman terms, that means employers, employed you just listen to your boss. Listen to your employer. That's all it means. You understand me? Do we not have black owned uh, companies amongst us? Oh yes, we do. Do they not have, have black employees? All they're saying is listen, employee, listen to your boss, man. That's right. Don't try to, don't try to, don't give them a hard time. But again, the white man used our ignorance of that and made it more than what it was. Read on. Not with eye service as man pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. See that? Y'all supposed to fear God. You understand me, sister? But now, I know, understand. You have you thought something, but it's not that. But going back to the to the uh, the idol god, you said what was his name? Hoshun. Hoshun. Sister, we ain't supposed to be messing with that stuff. Give me Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse about new guys, new guys that came new to you. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 17. They sacrificed unto devils, not unto God. So when we was in Ghana, we was in Africa, it's prophesied that we sacrificed unto devils. Unclean spirits. We, we did that. That was not gods. Read. To gods whom they knew not. To new gods that came newly up. Whom your fathers feared not. See that? Because when we went into these different lands, we learned the heathen's ways. That's why we was in the Bo uh, Buddha wizard. That's why we learned Christianity. That's why we learned Islam. Because the nations around us, we learned their ways. And that's the prophecy. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy 28:64 again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. God said that we will go into these other nations as slaves. When we was in Ghana, yes, we was ruling. Like for example, the kingdom of the home, uh, Timbuktu, Benin, Benin, and Ghana. Ghana itself, we was ruling all that. But guess what? We was learning the ways of the other nations in Ghana. The Hamites, because that's what they are in, in the Bible. The Africans are the Hamites. They worship Buddha. They have hedonistic customs. They put tattoos on their skin for the dead. They uh, work the, the, engage in homosexuality. They engage in bestiality. Right. They engage in incest. And we learn that. You understand me? 
But that don't mean that because it's, it's, it's more ancient than Christianity, that don't mean we do that. You understand me? Because the laws that our forefathers got from the one true God predates all that. Bring it out. You understand me? It predates all that. Genesis 2 and 7. Bring it out. Because a lot of us think that the laws came during the time of Moses. Sister, no. The laws was given to us when the Lord created man on the earth. And I want you to understand that the Lord is a man. He was made, we was made in, our, in his image. The woman came from the man. That's why woman of, by definition means of man. Woman. You are of man. Right. You understand me? Read what you got to get from the top. Genesis 2 verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground today, what's, what's the dust called? What's it called? Dust. The dust of the ground. Dirt. It's called dirt. What color is dirt? It's brown. And the deeper you, the deeper you dig, the brown it again. You understand that? That's just facts. Let you know that our skin color comes from what? The earth. That's right. You understand me? Earth. Read. That's right. It happens all the time. We ain't worried about that. We built for this. We just trying to teach y'all. You understand me? We know we have to clear up a lot of y'all minds. A lot of y'all come from different walks of life. We trying to show you that this ain't no Christianity. That's first and foremost. I want y'all to understand, we ain't coming with no white Jesus. We ain't coming with... Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.